we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun Welcome back. Hey friends, welcome back. So today I decided to do a day in the life vlog. We have a couple of things planned. I'm gonna go look for a planner to get my life together this year and hopefully use it like religiously because I seriously struggle with using planners and being consistent. Um, but anyways, we're gonna look for that and hopefully get like a family calendar for the kitchen. If we don't find one, I do have a couple of mine online to purchase. Um, and then we're gonna head to a kind of arcade or bowling area because we have been stuck at home the past week and a half and um, we are finally out of quarantine. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, uh, I did mention it on Instagram, but my husband was positive for COVID about a week and a half ago and we, I was negative and we tested the boys also and we are all good. Um, so yeah, it's been, been crazy <laughs> week or so just being stuck here at the house so we decided to kind of make um, today a little bit special and just get out and do something fun with the boys um, so yeah with all of that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go because everyone's in the car already I um, hope you guys enjoy be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe for more fun content coming up organizing cleaning um, mommy vlogs and all of that, which I am so looking forward to. Let's hop right into it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright our shopping spree and we are headed to the arcade yes. are you excited yeah. <laughs> the boys are more than ready Liam's ready too right <laughs> Uh, we spent there we were there probably a, several hours and then we grabbed some ice cream towards the end um, we also ate some I guess lunch over there we had a ton of fun in the arcade the boys absolutely loved it but it was much needed I feel like we all just needed to get out of the house after being stuck inside for over a week and a half Aaron is actually knocked out asleep on the sofa know what they all knocked out in the car <laughs> driving home um but aaron i guess is still exhausted so he's probably gonna 
stay asleep the rest of the night because it's already almost eight o'clock. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I what we purchased at Michael's, the little planner that I got. And I'm also gonna be putting a family or calendar here. I'm replacing this with a calendar that we got. I just wanted to get a calendar so we can a dry erase calendar so we can switch it out um, month by month. And then I'll just write down important stuff in my um, planner and then that way I know what to put on the dry erase uh, calendar. So this is the calendar that I got and I'm gonna be putting this where the other dry erase board is at. And then I like this one since you can put extra notes on here. Um, not sure if I'm gonna use this for actual photos of us or maybe just put like blank paper and just maybe put like to do or something. Um, tasks and stuff like that. I'll see what I do with this. And then we got these little um, dry erase markers. I, I like these since it was different colors. And then it has little magnetic, uh, what do they call Magnetic color coding kits that I can just, you know, kind of make it a little bit cute and more organized because that is one of my goals this year is to be a lot more organized and now that the boys are in school, this is gonna be handy with all of the appointments and, you know, school stuff and all of that. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna put. And then this is the planner that I got at Michael's. This is the Happy Planner. Super cute and I went with something a little more, um, felt like was more adult-ish. There's a lot of cute ones, but they were kind of busy and I just wanted something kind of simple and let me go ahead and open this for you guys and then I did get these little stickers that um, the happy planner is known for to just you know make them more customized and cute and whatnot So this is how the planner looks like. It just says 2022. All right, so this is what the first page looks like. And then this is actually a 12 month planner. So this is perfect because it started in January and ends all the way in December. Um, they had a lot of 18 month planners, which Obviously, I really don't need since half of it is pretty much already used. So I was, they, thankfully, I was able to grab one that had 12 months. And then right here, this is pretty neat. I can probably just place important um, appointments or birthdays and stuff like that. Let me know if you also use a happy planner or what kind of planner you use. I really want to stay consistent and use it this year, so as one of my goals. And then I love this little kind of um, layout and before each month. You can pretty much put your priorities on here, goals, important dates, and then this they give you this free space to do whatever you want. So I am going to just uh, see what I come up with and just fill in the space to set me up for a successful month. And this is the vertical layout that they have which is something that I am new to and will have to get used to. And then I got these adorable little stickers. I also have several stickers for my old planner. Um, excuse the noise, Liam is right here. <laughs> so I just got these kind of simple one and kind of fits with my aesthetic and what color scheme I like. to work on this year as well as well as exercise and working out
you guys so i decided to do a voiceover so i could speed this part up a bit for you all i wanted to include this in the vlog as well to hopefully inspire some of you if you are also hoping to get more organized this year like i am so i went ahead and started off with doing a brain dump of whatever was in my head or things I want or need to get done for the month just to be able to focus and know where to begin when it comes to setting up my planner since this was honestly the very first time I take planning and setting goals very seriously. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done now for the fun part, which is filling in my planner. I wanted to start off with this layout first to make sure that I am focused on what I want to accomplish for the month of January. And I did add a few stickers here and there, but I didn't go too crazy with them on here. And I'm just starting off with writing down my priorities and goals and things I really want to make sure I, of course, like I mentioned, focus on. This open section with the bullet journal dots, I decided to go ahead and add in some action steps to follow for some of the goals I wanted to focus on. I'm also trying to incorporate themed days for housekeeping and content creating so I don't feel as overwhelmed with just trying to do everything all in one day. I will let you guys know how, it, how and if it works for me. This is the end result of this layout, which I absolutely love, and I just feel inspired and motivated to just tackle this month head on. So I also wanted to share what my first week layout looked like currently as I am doing this voiceover. I noticed I can't really plan a whole week in one sitting, at least not currently, so this is what's working for me right now. Maybe once I get the hang of it and um, it'll just come more naturally, but I am loving the Happy Planner so far and it's actually been therapeutic for me as well, which I didn't expect. Anyways, I truly hope you guys enjoyed and got inspired. If you made it this far into the vlog, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more cleaning, organizing, and real mom life content. And I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.